Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is William, aka Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. I'm here on day three of No Rest November. Got three days down, 32 more to go. Got to do it one day at a time. I don't even want to think about the length of this challenge right now. But survived a, a crazy day yesterday, uh, a day with a lot of errors. A lot of mistakes um, I'll tell you guys more about it in a bit I had to basically correct a few things but I uh, they, they got finished they got done I'll tell you guys more about exactly what I did this morning or well, yesterday mostly did everything when I got home but yeah I've completed <clears throat> third 12 hours no wait 11 and a half hours the first day and like almost 13 hours yesterday so like over 12 hours and a half wait i don't know i need me some green tea or something because yesterday i was very slow I'm like i need me some caffeine or something but um yeah I, I was able to make almost 700 it was like 695 that's how much i have so far Today's day three. The goal stays the same, 333. I am starting a bit late though. Today, uh, it's 10.30 in the morning right now. So that's my official start time. And I count that when I turn the apps on. All right, apps are on, go well, app is on. The uh, DoorDash, I don't have it. I'm scheduled to 11 o'clock. I thought I was gonna come out a little later because I fell asleep really late. I couldn't fall asleep last night. So much that at 3 in the morning I went for a drive. Went to go get some water. And yeah, it was uh it was crazy in the hood at night, bro. At 3 in the morning there's all kinds of sketchy shit going on. You got gangsters walking around by themselves, you know they're tagging. Yeah, you got like cars parked with people inside of them just in the parking lot. They just it's strange. There's a lot of strange people driving super fast down the streets. So I'm glad that I don't work during those times on my ruckus because it's dangerous. I'll do it one day. Just for a, just just to see what it what it, how crazy it gets. But I'll have to be extra careful. Wear like an ultra bright vest. And yeah, basically I'll probably won't even wear headphones. Just because I want to be paying attention to everything in my surroundings. But I'll do it one of these days. Anyway, we'll get to it. Thanks for joining guys. I know these videos are, are long as shit and sometimes short. But you know it's a it's a hectic it's a hectic challenge. Mine is everywhere. You know, it's, it's the biggest challenge is really to have a problems, have be able to solve all the problems that come about. But the other one is being able to keep it together mentally. Cause 12 hours with no break every day for uh, 35 days, shit will get to you. But that's what it, it's that's why it's a challenge. You know, not everyone can pull this off. Even I have failed many times in the past. I've never actually completed a No Rest November successfully, you know? I've always fallen short. But, you know, with years, because more experience, because uh, more knowledge, more tools, more resources to fix shit, and better equipped to hopefully success successfully complete this challenge. Anyway, we'll get right into it, guys. Let's get this money. So first things first, I got my speed back. I was driving really slow yesterday. And by the time I go home, I realized how bad the problem was. I, I did acknowledge I had a, a, a slow leak since the first day of this challenge. But I've had slow leaks where, you know, the, the, the tire goes down just a little bit. It loses a little pressure throughout the day. But yesterday, I near lost everything. Like, I plugged in my air pump and that shit was like less than 10 pounds of pressure. I was pumping it and it was sounding like, it, it was no, uh, no effort to pump, meaning there was no air. I don't know how these tires still ride with no, like little to no air. So I, I knew I was low, because I could see the lights kind of pointing upward and I felt a little lower than usual. And I, at the turns I could feel 
Like, you know what it feels like when you hit a turn with a, with a low tire? It feels like the tire is going to roll off to the side. It's a weird feeling, but I think that's what was getting to me mentally yesterday. That and the bus making a few mistakes here and there. Taking some deliveries that I shouldn't have. But I got my speed back. I was testing it out right now. I was like, yeah. I'm doing like 37 and I feel like I'll go faster. So definitely got the power back. You know, the, the ruck is not struggling anymore. Because when it's a low tire, it's like, it's like running in sand. You know, feel like you're, you're, it feels like you're making, you're putting in a lot more effort, but not really going that fast. That's what it feels like. But like I said, you gotta be resilient with these things. You gotta be able to learn, fix the issue, and then go out back the next day. I actually pushed through the whole 13 hours with a, basically a damn near a flat. But I'm glad I did because I was actually barely able to hit go. I was like at 338, 339, something like that. Just barely hitting go. So, so glad I, I, I almost, I, I was already almost home and I got my last one to help me hit go. Like I still remember it was like a $7 delivery. The last one, that was that. Yeah, I was like right below the goal and I, I was able to hit it with that. So, hell yeah, got the speed back, babe. On DoorDash at 10.38, 10:30, just eight minutes after Uber Eats. Let's get it. All right, so I changed the oil on my scooter. Uh, it was due. Uh, I'm doing it by the book every 7 2600 miles but i want to ask you experts out there with when it comes to tune-ups do you think i should follow honda's uh you know miles to tune up or is it too much of a it's too many miles considering how i write this 130 miles a day average or should i do them more frequently or am i doing it too much every 2600 miles to change the oil what do you guys think? I need you guys' opinion. And is there a specific oil you guys recommend? Because right now I'm just getting some regular 1040W or whatever from AutoZone. I think it's, what is that shit called? It's like a blue one. I don't know if it's mobile or another cheaper one. It's blue too as well. The motorcycle one. Is there any other oil you guys recommend using? I'm no expert on, on, uh, on engines, you know, and all that stuff. I'm like learning little by little. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, if she's got a new tune-up, I'm good till 10,000 miles. That's the next time I got a tuner, which I'm pretty sure it'd be near the end of this, uh, near the end of this challenge. So I just got two deliveries, four deliveries. Actually, I got two with Uber first and then I got two more. get this other one first you know i'm already here might as well get it oh shit it's a uh, hong kong so one is uh 19 and the other one was 18 so shit puts me at 37 already i am going to be working late till 10 10 30 at night because i started at 10 30 i gotta put it my 12 hours or until i hit my goal so it could be sooner it could be later but that's how it works. Let's get this delivery. Cheyenne Express. My boy said two, three minutes. I got another pickup like three blocks away, so we'll do that first. Those are two, three precious minutes, man. And it's two. Well, this is the furthest one down south, so I'm away for this one. Then all the other ones are basically on the way. I got uh, here, Cheyenne, whatever, that's where I was at right now. Poppy Rose, which I'll probably do at right after. And then the last one, it's Zinc. Yeah, Zinc is going to be the last one. Zinc. Zinc. Check out the fresh new bag. Oh yeah. Fuck it, I'll just put it like this. Alright, let's go. Got 
car number two out of four. drastically different than yesterday I could work like this with this speed yesterday I kept thinking over and over again I need to get me something faster I, I'm, I think I mean I, it might be time to level up but honestly like it was just that flat tire bro hey I was riding on a flat it was basically like I had an e-bike that's the speed I was riding in the acceleration too will take a while to get up to speed this one right away, 30. Doesn't take very long. So this one. Let's stick them in the back. One. Two. I'll even close it just to make sure that it doesn't pop off. Put that there. This one I'm gonna fit this way. Yep, it does. Got a room for one more. Let's go get it. You got room to get out? What's up? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thanks, man. Alright, let's go to the last pickup. Zinc. Start these deliveries. Everything fit like a glove in there. Let's go. Confirm pickup. I have no idea where I'm going. I kind of know the general area, but all these addresses are going to be new to me. All right. So first delivery. Damn. A big ass building that takes forever to get to the apartment. All right. Let's just get it done. Hopefully it's close to the elevators. Let's see what about Uber Eats. All right. Uber Eats ones are far. So those are going to get done last. Or that's not gonna be my first one. Ooh, motorcycle officer there. Ooh, I was about to make this turn without stopping. Off two of four. On my next delivery, I got nine minutes to get there. GPS six minutes. I'll get there in five. Maybe even four. It's not far at all. Cycle Park. Let's get it. Delivered once to this hospital. Seems chill. Not too active. This with the drinks. Let's see if they survived the trip. Pretty sure they did. One, two. No spillage at all. I like to see. Two minutes left on the clock. It's 11.46. It's about to be lunch rush in like 14 minutes. I'm trying to get to DTLA ASAP. Or at least try to get some that are going. Oh, there it is. That's <laughs> $16 back to DTLA. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. And the pickup is actually right here. All right, guys. That's best case scenario. I got $16 added to the bag. All right, where is this place? Wat Dong Moon Lick Noodle. Oh, there it is. Park right here. Sounds like I might need to replace my brakes soon. Just because they're both screeching. But this is it. I believe this is Thai food. And this is about crying, no joke. One is brand new. Alright, so he's gonna put this so it doesn't tip over. Sweet. Huge stack of three Uber Eats orders for 32 bucks. Now I'm already at 53, so this puts me at 86 in two stats. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, I'm about to drop off this one here. Where the hell is this building? Oh, this one's a little tricky to get to. 
But yeah, that's pretty good. It's gonna go to South LA, which is kind of surprising that it's uh, that much of a pain order and it's going to South LA. It's very rare. Unless it's going to City of Vernon, but that's next to South LA. My engine sounds different. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to sound. Hopefully I didn't mess up. But, yeah. Just changed my oil. That's all I did. What else did I do? Uh, we'll see. Put 100 miles, over 100 miles today. Alright, let me drop this thing off. Building here. That I just delivered in. I used to come in this building often when I was a bike messenger. A lot of documents going in and out of this place. Um, but yeah, just did the DoorDash delivery. I'm gonna start picking up the three with Uber. We got boba time and two of California Cafe chicken or whatever. Let's go, boba time. Accidentally and ended my dash. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Yep, and now only now I only have a dash till 2:30. Shit happens. Oh, I was trying to deny a delivery. And look how perfect that fits in there. It's not a big deal. I mean, I've been able to jump on dashes this entire time. I mean, these past two days. So this was like a, bit, a few, few, a few times where uh, I didn't have I, I, like a dash, but Uber Eats picked up the slack during those downtimes with DoorDash. So all good. I jumped on outside. I was able to jump back on with a dash till 2:30. All right, let me confirm these pickups. Saw so one of them was like a pretty big order. All right. See how quick I can knock out this $5 order. I just got it right now. Five bucks. It's a uh, $12.56. Little pike. Hello, pick up. It's a FE6, FE6, I think it's that one. 8E6, yeah, that's the one. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so it's ready. Probably make it in five minutes. It's a little pug right there. Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows to wait outside too. <laughs> Right, this thing is three minutes away. It'd be nice to get this done in under under five minutes. Can we? Can we? Let's see. Quickest five bucks ever. Product Street. Not good. <laughs> Right there, he saw me. I saw the, the trucker see me in the mirror. So I was like, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so my customer will be there in two minutes. He's like, okay. Give me the address. All right. At 101, exactly five minutes. Dollar a minute. Yeah. Looks like. I remember I told myself once that I'm like, if I could make a dollar a minute doing this gig work shit, that would be baller. But yeah, that's uh, that's challenging. Maybe in like 10 years when inflation is crazy and $20 is a new $1, then maybe yeah, <laughs> I'll be making 
Oh, we're making 160 a, 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 an hour. So like 20, uh, 20 a minute, a dollar a minute, I mean. I just confused the shit out of myself. Y'all get my point, I hope. All right, so I'm at 91. Ooh, two for 13. All right, I'll do it. Sweet, so I've officially hit my first 100 at one o'clock. That's pretty good. Even considering I started at 10.30, that's really good. DTLA, I got a $50 smash burger order. Going all the way here to Washington. I mean, uh, well, yeah, by Washington and Western. I was trying to say Western. But uh, cool, quick 15 bucks puts me at uh, 119. It's about to be 2 o'clock. I'm trying to get to 200 ASAP. So uh, the lady that was parked there, she backed up into my ruckus. I caught her. The good thing is that I have these things that stick out right here, the little foot holders. So I'll most likely fuck up their car before they drop my scooter. So it's all good. She has a Mercedes. So she probably messed up her Mercedes trying to get out of the parking spot. It's an older Mercedes. Usually if it's a new one, they'll have a backup camera. But as long as she didn't knock my shit down, all good. All right, so. But anyway. Um, Headed to the drop offs. It's a long one. This is for what, 18 bucks, I believe? Yeah, 18. Ooh. It's all good. What was that? I was at 19? 119? So this puts me at. Uh, 37. 137. drive so my buddy just came up to me and told me that my back tire looks kind of low so either I fixed the slow leak and it's still there or it's something else that could be in another slow leak so I could have two Let's see how the wheel feels damn I'm about to replace the whole tire it's all good. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm just gonna put the uh, put the uh, the other tires on my other ruckus. They're the all-terrain ones. They're the stock ones that come with the with the GoPro with the GoPro <laughs> with the ruckus. So they uh, they definitely feel they don't feel as smooth, but they're just as good. It actually sounds kind of cool when you're going really fast. It makes us very uh it makes us sound like you're going faster i don't know if you guys ever been behind or next to a car that has like those off-road tires those things tend to be really loud or louder than the average tire the, the, the like road tires other than that it should be the same thing then I don't have to worry about slowly again. Let's see, let's check up on this thing. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep, the thing came off. It was right here. It was just gone. Yep. There's no uh, pressure on the tire. I don't know how I was able to work like that yesterday. I guess after a certain pressure, it's enough to keep it sealed. I have no idea. Maybe just the strength of the tire. Bugs still right. Sucks. I could, hi, pick up. For, yeah. All right, thank you. Oh man, you know what? I could do a quick mission, 
go home and just swap the scooters. But this, even the scooter is not ready. I've, I've been parting it out. And it's leaking oil. I could just switch the tire. That that would that would probably take me. Let's see. Tops, tops. That'll probably take me like 30 minutes to an hour. There's the drinks. Should be good. I'm gonna have to do it though because it just sucked riding like that yesterday. I'll probably just do it right now. After these deliveries, I'm kind of delivering like somewhere south. I mean, southeast. I could just go straight uh, to um, my house and swap them out. I'll think about it. I have one more of those things, the little plugs. I could try just putting in one more and hopefully it lasts me for the whole day. I just won't put as much pressure, air pressure on the, on the tire. I'll fill it up just a little bit. Oh, you know, probably what helps, <laughs> like the air escapes right now, but whenever I put it on the kickstand, the tire kind of goes back to its shape, so it sucks air back in. That's probably what's been saving me. <laughs> Who knows? But I think I'm gonna go to a gas station that has a pump. I'll plug that thing in and then put air. Oh, hopefully that I can uh, make it for the rest of the day with that. Cause yeah, if I go home and switch the tires, it's gonna eat up. It's gonna eat up a good amount of time, like an hour, hour and a half. An hour, let's say, but an hour. I'm already. I already came late. I already came out late today. I don't know if I should do that. So I got like one more added for five bucks, giving me another one for three fifty from Burger King. But now nah, I'll pass on that one. Drinks look good. Not nothing spilled all right Let's see if i can find any other quick fix i know someone mentioned the slime uh, i just kind of saw it in the browser but i gotta look into it i do remember uh when i had a long time ago i had bought these cans that whenever you get a flat you just plug them into your tire and they'll, they'll seal the they'll seal the tire and they'll fill them up and i kind of just kept it like that i don't know i don't remember what i did after but that shit worked it was a quick fix i want to see if i could do something like that so there's a there's an auto zone here it's actually on weedier which is perfect let's go straight down and go right back to uh dtla actually the Wells Fargo I told you guys I used to work at it's right there right in the heart of East LA well maybe lower heart I don't know maybe the lung of East LA but I used to work here man I wonder if anyone that I that I work with still works here there's gonna be some for sure for sure there'll be because yeah the let's see out of how many people there was like 23 people over there There's gonna be some OGs in there. They're gonna be like, oh, she's doing food delivery now. They're gonna be like, oh, you moved down. <laughs> Your ass is doing worse. That's not true. But it would appear so. I think most people will probably assume that because I do food delivery, I ain't doing shit. It's funny because it's quite the opposite. I don't think I've ever been doing this much. In my life well yeah maybe in other categories but <sighs> shit look at all these fucking products i don't even know what the hell i'm looking for let's see tire inflator shit 
brake fluid. Let's just put some brake fluid in that shit. Let's go see. Maybe I'm even looking in the wrong area. These are the things that I was talking about. These are the ones that I used to get a long time ago. So let's fucking try it. Look, just plug this bad boy in. That's what he said. Ow, it's just fucking hot. There it goes. I hear something. I probably should have went through the instructions first. So what does this say? Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot one step. Shake vigorously. Alright. So position valve at the bottom. Alright, whatever. Shake. Turn upside down. Well, you can't really turn this upside down. Oh, I do feel the pressure now. I was supposed to do that first. And then shake for 15 seconds and then turn upside down. And then turn. Oh, yeah, so you screw it in. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So now I screw it in. I was just trying to force it in there. I might have fucked it up already. <laughs> per se. Shit. Oh, and then I still gotta put air, huh? Shit, alright. Oh shit, I might have fucked up already. Alright, well, anyway, let's go put air. Just throw away $12. <laughs> Where's the nearest gas station? To lay down, or this has to be pointed downward. So I'm just gonna put this on the side. Hopefully I don't leak anything. Probably is gonna start leaking, but I'm gonna try to do this fast. Do not hear anything. I'm getting an order. Uh, nothing. Well, I do feel the tire a little bit more inflated. Then I'll just put air in it. I think I'm good. What do you guys think? It's probably not even gonna work, huh? What the hell's that noise? Where's that coming from? Right here. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to go old school on this bitch. Just use one of these come on so I can still inflate it I don't want to pay another dollar fifty Ha <laughs> ha! 
I thought it turned off. That should do it for now. I don't have nothing to cut the excess off. I just have the blade here, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Oh well guys, well this is good. I put the plug back in. I don't think I did the slime thing correctly. No, I don't I don't have my blade in here. Alright. We'll see. We'll see. This can last the whole day. Oh it got hot just that just right just sitting here. Oh shit, I gotta let the oil go down. Shit. <laughs> I gotta let this shit sit here now because I had it on its side. It won't turn on. Come on, come on. There she goes. There she goes. She's back. 40 and I already hit my 200 with these two pickups. With these two pickups, it puts me at 218. 218 doll hairs. Can't wait to be it like a, I won't be, can't wait till I'm just chasing double digits, not triple digits. Or not still like 120 something. 130, I don't know. 100, yeah, 120, no, 114. That's how much I need right now to hit go. Woo, those numbers are shrinking, baby. I'm doing pretty good. I know it's kind of late because uh, I came out like at 10.30. But I'm doing doing good. Right now I'm gonna to drop to like West Adams area. Ugh. It's getting thirsty. My ass kind of hurts though. I'm sitting on this damn seat. I think I'm gonna end up buying some a cushion to kind of ease that a bit. I used to have one on this scooter. It actually was comfortable for a while. Then it kind of just got really flat and. It just wasn't like very useful anymore. So, but I'll buy it again. Actually, I think it was was pretty. It eased the comfort by a lot. But just make a right here. Now make a right over there. You already see I'm like cutting through all this traffic right here. Take a picture of that. Third out of the palm trees. She looks sick. Maybe zoom out a little bit. Still looks good. Oh that truck fucked it up. That first one looks good enough. Look how it looks right here. Oh my god. Didn't get away from me. Oh, it looks so dope. I got someone behind me. My camera's messed up. My main camera. I don't know if I told you guys. But our main camera, which is the one that with the highest megapixel, the one that catches the most detail, the most information. Yeah, the primary camera. I messed that up. I think when I dropped it, because I'm always dropping this phone. It happens. Even with a case, the camera's very sensitive. It has these little uh, devices in there, little tiny little meadows that focus the camera and those little small hinges or whatever the fuck they are they're very fragile once you mess that up the focus kind of lags whenever I want to focus the camera I gotta tap it I, I don't know if you guys ever noticed me doing that when I'm taking pictures of a, of a well I don't really film when I'm doing that but yeah when I'm taking a picture and I'm leaving it at the door I gotta tap the camera a little bit so it can focus otherwise it'll just be like blurry for a while I was sending pictures very blurry and then I figured that little tapping trick 
<laughs> that helped it focus. Started doing that ever since. As y'all can see, just delivered to some massive apart apartment complex. Fortunately, I was able to find the apartment pretty soon. But imagine, look at that. We got what got lost real quick. So I did get, um, I don't know if it was two or three orders. It was two, but it was like $27. And it's going like back towards Cape Town. I was already at 218. Oh shit, that passes the stairs. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, so, uh, what was it? 218 plus 27. 245. Yes. They got a Sonora town here, mid city. My scooter sounds like a truck now. It goes. I mean, it sounds kind of cool. I just don't know if it's, if it's a good or bad thing. Hope well, I didn't overfill it. Let's see. Moment of truth. Let's see why, uh. Damn, I think I put too much. That's probably why it sounds like that. Let's try it again. Yeah, I think I put too much. It's past the, the crosses. It's a little bit be up beyond that maybe that's why it sounds like that you guys think that'll be a reason why the engine will sound a little that's too much oil i'll just do it again oh you know what i could unplug it and plug it back in real fast try to take out some of the oil or i could just redo it would be a big deal. I was supposed to let the once I turn off the engine, I was supposed to let it sit for a while, like 10 minutes, before I measure the oil again. Right now that it's running, it probably shows uh, the way it, it does. I'll try it again at home tonight. I gotta change the tires anyway. So, damn, day two, I'm already doing like he hella maintenance on this thing. Got a seven dollar add-on. And I was able to pick this up before I went to the two reeds ones. This puts me at two sixty-eight. Wait, no, wait, wait. What? Two seventy-eight? Two eighty-six? Fuck! I forgot already. I think it's two eighty-six. Yeah, it's two eighty-six. They almost short and I almost short changed myself. All right. But I'm only down the street from this place. I'm fully loaded, baby. Drop offs headed towards DTLA. 268, no, 286 in the bag. Only 7 p.m. I got about three hours and a half to go to hit go. I'm already pretty close. Ooh. No rest November, day three, baby. I think I already hit a thousand dollars. Take it to the other day, 11 bucks for this dirty burger one. 12 bucks actually. Ooh, if it's not ready, I'm risking waiting. Let's do it, it's 12 bucks. My 80, what was that, 86? That'll be 98. But let's see if they're actually gonna make me wait a long time or not. The next stop I have, it's actually just a few blocks away. This burger spot, I think it's in the shopping center right here. It has to be. Dirty burger, where is it, where is it? You see it, you see it, you see it? Dirty burger, dirty burger. I am going to have to unassign if it's not ready. And my percentage is going to go down. 
What's the address? 698. 698. It's probably it's probably this one. They have burgers here. It has to be. Dirty burger. Just dirty burger? Yeah. yeah. For uh I man? I man? Yes? Alright, thank you. Lady so slow. Just give it to me, damn. Sorry, like taking a little sweet time thinking about it, processing everything. Like, oh, we don't give me that right now. I'll put this here and this on top because it's only a salad. Perfect. Damn, one more? No, I can't do another one. You gotta know your limits. Because this one's very far, it's gonna give me quite a, a, a significant amount of time but this one is going to be my last one that I deliver imagínate que me la lleve gracias alright minutes tops to drop off this last this DoorDash delivery it's like right on point like it's not giving me any room um, to get there well it's supposed to be there 20 but I'm gonna give myself 30 but then that gives me no wiggle room. I just might be late on that one. All right, let's make this snappy. I got one, two, three deliveries. And then the fourth one. Hey, it's cut throat. 300, well, it's 298, so $2 short of hitting 300, and it's 707. By the time I finish this, it's gonna be 730. I still got th three hours to hit my goal of 33, three, 33 bucks, so. I'm well ahead today and I'm going to take advantage of that and zoom right past uh, my goal to try to get maybe near the 400s. Let's do it. Do some numbers real quick. I got 178 on the Uber Eats. I know there's some tips I haven't loaded but I still want to hit my goal based on the ones the numbers that are showing because if i hit my goal based on the numbers are sh are showing some extra tips come in after the fact and that's how it's cool so let's see um, all right i gotta i should just pull over and do this shit. it's only three numbers to add so this should be pretty easy uh, calculator please all right 178 i said plus 30 was the first number, 58 plus 58 plus what's that last number? Come on, baby. Oh, it's not a lot. 35. 300? Damn, I barely got 301. I thought I was like at 320 something. Did I make a mistake? somewhere 178 that's correct 30 58 35 30 58 30. yeah all right so i need 32 dollars more let's do it it's at 8 30 so i'm basically only 10 hours in all right. i just kind of wanted to go home and fix the scooters i still have time to do other things but i think another hour delivery I'm only gonna need like 19 bucks left so I'm just gonna be listening to this the Joe, the Joe Rogan and Elon Musk podcast while I'm well I hit my goal so I'm just gonna be riding around anything interesting pops up I'll let y'all know it's a pretty big order two big bags they made me sign in the tablet I'm like you know I'm trying to end my night so you know I'll just do it <laughs> just filled in that goddamn tablet hey but this one looks like because it's such a large order might be more than the offer price it was 15 bucks so with this i hit my goal and then why quite possibly there might be some extra some extra at the end you know i'm just gonna end doordash because i just got, i got another one for 11 bucks I'm done after that.
I don't even think I should do this other one because it's kind of far. It goes all the way to like Cypress Park in the in the in the mountain, Mount Washington. Boras, I can just do this one and head home. You know what? I'm gonna do that because yeah, that means I will have to go all the way up here and then go all the way down to go home. How many miles do I have already? I got 115 miles. You know what? Let's just do it. Why not? It's just a trip. Plus, I'm listening to this podcast, which is hella interesting. So, the time's going to just go by quick. All right. Well, once I do the two drops, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a breakdown. Officially given out. Not even going to finish this last delivery. And I was almost there. Damn. Flat tire. Well, at least I hit my goal. Now I gotta get this ruckus picked up. Shit. I just tried to go. Blah, 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 blah. Done. Man is on the way. Pick up the scooter. So I got 137.75 with DoorDash. 278 cents on Uber Eats. There's a pending tip of, look, it says your earnings is 10, but you're supposed to get 25.75 once the tips kick in, usually one hour. So that's another, holy shit, that's $15 on top of what I have already. Plus 15, that's 353 today approximately once the numbers finalize i'll let y'all know one of them was uh, canceled because uh you know the flat tire had a call so i don't know if the person can if the tip gets canceled or or maybe that tip is fully from the last delivery who knows we'll see i mean i'll see in an hour if it goes up or down but yeah let's see oh yeah i want to see how many miles i got in today I already submitted it since tech the map for today is wild because I was all the way to like East LA then I was all the also all the way like near like Culver City I went all the way up to like East Hollywood Silver Lake I was in USC I was a uh, carrier I was like all over the map today it just looks crazy but I got 121 miles today Probably waited like another 10 on the way home. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm wrapping up day three. Stranded. Somewhere in LA. I'm glad this shit didn't happen sooner. <laughs> Although if I would have decided to go home after this, I might have made it home. Or might have gotten really close. But you know what? I'd rather have gotten a flat tire here in this area than where I live. Because where I live, it's mad sketchy. Even though I know the area more, still uh, it, it wouldn't be nice. It wouldn't be a good idea to be stranded like this anywhere in the hood. I'll probably just push the flat tire all the way home. I'll probably just ride it on the rim. <sighs> I'm curious to see how it rides, actually. You know, let's find out. Before I wrap it up, let's see if I can. You guys can hear. Yeah, it's the turns. It's the turns. Whenever you hit a turn, the tire gets all weird. You can see a wobble a little bit. You know what? I'm just, gonna... <laughs> I'm just letting everyone know around here. I got a flat tire. Not very smart. All right. Yeah, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna move. I found a good spot right here. I'm just gonna chill. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.